All right, so we're gonna work on Putnam 2016, number A1. And it says, find the smallest positive integer J, such that for any polynomial P of X with integer coefficients and any positive integer K, when we plug in K into the Jth derivative of the polynomial, that expression is divisible by 2016. Okay, so there are a lot of moving parts here. Um, we have this, this smallest positive integer so that when we differentiate, no matter what polynomial we're looking at, we, no matter what integer we plug into it, the j derivative evaluated of that polynomial is going to be divisible by this number 2016. Um, so we're considering divisibility by 2016, so should we, we should know the prime factorization in 2016. I'm going to write it over here. It's uh, 7 times 3 squared times 2 to the 5th. Uh, and one thing to know is I've noticed that it seems in each year the prime factorization of the year comes up in handy uh, in some way on the Putnam competition. So it's just good to know this off, off the top of your head. Um, I actually computed this before the video uh, started from scratch. Um, okay, so let's go back to the problem. Um, so a good thing to do with this is start with some uh, rather simple polynomials and try to do something. So um, we're taking the jth derivative in general and trying to find the smallest j so that this condition holds. Uh, so let's actually start with a polynomial where this expression is going to be pretty, pretty reasonable. Like if j were 4, um, we could use a polynomial like x to the 4, and we know that the derivative is not even going to be like a, a polynomial with variables in it, it's just going to be a number. Um, so if we pick p of x to be x to the j, let's see what happens. Um, that way the j derivative is going to leave us with a constant. So the j derivative of this thing is j factorial. Um, and so the question is, like, this is one function that has to satisfy this condition. So this will give us a restriction on... on um, what j has to be, this j factorial needs to be divisible by 2016. And the factors of that are right here. So we first notice immediately that j has to be at least 7, because 7 doesn't appear as a factor of j factorial until j is at least 7, because 7 is prime. So j is definitely going to be at least 7. Um, if j were 7, then we'd have 7 j factorial being 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Um, let's see if this has enough copies of 3 and uh, 2 for 2016 to divide it. Um, so we do have two copies of 3. We have a 3 here and a 3 and 6. Um, now let's look at 2. We have a 2 here, two factors of 2 here, and one here for a total of 4. So it's not enough. We need to increase by one more. Um, if we make j equal to 8, will be will be good. So from this, j has to at least be 8 in order for this one function to work. Um, so let's look at a generic polynomial and see what happens when we uh, take its j derivative and see if this 8 is going to be enough. If it is, then we're happy. It's the smallest positive integer that will work for all our, our functions. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so say our polynomial is some generic thing. So it looks like the sum m equals 0 to n of x, well we need a coefficient, um, a sub m times x to the m, where these a m's are integers. If we take the jth derivative, which is 8 in this case, that's the thing we're text testing, the 8th derivative will get rid of the powers up to x to the 7. We'll be left with the sum m equals 8 to n of something like m times m minus 1 up to m minus 7. So we're differentiating 8 times times a sub m times x to the m minus 8. And we're evaluating this as some random positive integer k. 
So our expression will look like something like this. And we're curious whether or not this is enough, uh, meaning, so this is j is 8, uh, meaning that uh, this expression is divisible by 2016. Okay, so if each sum end is divisible by 2016, then the entire expression is. So let's look at a particular sum end. We notice that the sum end has the product of eight consecutive integers written here. Right, so as a consequence, eight factorial will actually divide this piece of the expression. Right, because we have a multiple, um, this is eight consecutive integers, so we'll have a multiple of eight, seven, a multiple of seven, because there's, there's some multiple sets of somewhere in this list, etc. Okay, um, so 8 factorial divides this expression here, which means it divides this sum n, which means 8 factorial divides this entire sum, right? And 8 factorial has 2016 as a factor. So overall, um, it looks like we're forced to have j be at least 8, from earlier by looking at x to the j. Um, and now, when j is 8, the 8th derivative of any polynomial evaluated in any integer is going to be divisible by 8 factorial and hence divisible by 2016. Okay, so I think the moral of this problem is start with simple examples to get a feel of what you're trying to deal with, which is the smallest positive integer j that you're looking for. And once you have that, um, see if you can extend it to the generic case and see if it pulls through.